Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be going over this TB League 112 scale Def Dealer figure. I ordered this around the same time I ordered I pre-ordered the Mesco 112 scale Def Dealer figure, which was should be coming down the pipe sometime this year. And while I was doing my research on that figure, I happened to run across this one and found out that TB League also had the Def Dealer on pre-order. It's about half the price so of the Mesco figure. So I decided to get both of them because I thought it'd be cool to uh, have both of them in my collection. And I was initially introduced to this character many years ago when I was working in a restaurant. One of the co-workers was talking about some of the great books he had written and he told me about this barbarian who was given this cursed helmet to fight off this invading army. And he was sort of bent to the will of this helmet because it was cursed coming from an evil god and actually a sorceress who wanted to defeat this invading army, had given it to him, and it had given him godlike powers. He became very strong, very skillful, and his senses were heightened. And he can, you know, heal from injuries much quicker with the helmet. But the helmet actually was trying to possess him and take over him, and he couldn't remove it initially. Uh, he eventually was able to remove this helmet from Robin Lakehair, who was one of his companions inside of the book. Without further ado, let's take a look, closer look at the figure. But first, let's take a look at the accessories. And here we have his shield, sort of iconic from the... Frank Frazetta painting back in the early 70s. And that's what this character was pretty much developed off of. I'm sure if you're here watching the video, you're probably very familiar with that painting. And from there, it came to novels and the comics. And in that photo or that painting, he's holding this shield or something similar to it. And this is plastic, but it has a nice sort of metallic look to it. And here, I guess this was a falcon on the shield. All right. And also, he has this sword, some nice details on it, some blood, and you have little engravings on the handle. Pretty cool. And this goes inside this sheath, which has a leather-like feel to it. And you have this chain. And this just goes in just like this. And you can sheath it. It's a little tough. You don't really want to force anything with these. I mean, this just has a little sharp edge, so you don't want to puncture that. But you can see how it's done here. Now... Normally I would have these on his shoulder, but I ripped a little piece here. So you want to be real careful with this. I was sort of forcing the issue because I didn't know exactly how it should be fit on. It was difficult to tell by the photos and I didn't want to look at any reviews on it since I knew I wanted to do a review on this. So I was sort of forcing the issue and it ripped. So it's not that this is incredibly fragile or anything, but I just tried too hard to fit it on in the wrong way but anyway these are shoulder guards that this part goes across his top part of his chest and it fits onto his shoulder and it has a little buckles here that you can place the scrap inside of to sort of tighten it down it's a little tricky all right so and as you can see he also he has the axe here now the axe is pretty nice like the sword has blood on it and a little handle so pretty nice detail so let's take a closer look at this guy he has this cape here has a velvety feel to it and you can remove this you just remove the helmet which we'll do a little later just goes over him and he has this little plate that goes around his neck. Different little 
teeth that goes around it. So he has this fabric that actually has a velvety like feel to it as well. So all with a nice TB league body. So that means it's going to be some good articulation. And you have his boots with some nice detail on the boots. There's a little engravings on or scale like appearance to them. And you have this sort of shin guard here. This is a nice little touch too. It has the spurs. As you see on that painting, he was seen riding, riding on a horse. And so I have this little skirt piece goes around the waist and I really like this little skull with horns around this belt so makes it looks pretty cool and here we have the helmet pretty sweet design I like it it's a little bit on the smaller side I mean <laughs> I think uh, that's really one of my uh, cons with this uh, particular figure is that this head is just pretty small. I mean, just for comparison, we'll take a look with size comparison, but here's the helmet that goes on the 112 scale Punisher by Marvel Legends. So we'll take a do some size comparison a little bit later, but as you can see, that head is pretty small compared to that figure. So I think it makes him a little less menacing looking uh, with the small head, but okay. He also has these little arm guards here. Has some nice detail on those. You can see the the bell has some really nice details even in the back. All right, so we'll take a look at the articulation. So TV League, of course, you'll get great tire articulation. Goes up, you can bend down. Move the foot to the side and in. It's very flexible, nice, soft material here. So you can really bend that knee, extend it, flex at the hip, extend at the hip. So you can really spread those legs apart. And same with the arm. You can bring the shoulder way, way up there. You can bring it in, bend it back, and bring it up. twist at the wrist. So we'll take this off here just so that we can remove those pieces. And we put the head back on. So matter of fact, let's <laughs> so yeah this is quite a small head. So let's do some size comparisons. So let's set him. But this one I'm starting to notice as far as getting TB League figures. They tend to be 
sort of smaller scale than your Masco or Marvel Legends figures. So first we'll bring in the Punisher. And as you can see, he just towers. He just towers over. Okay. And we have the TB League Purgatory. Now, of course, she's more in scale with him. So she's actually a little bit shorter than them because they're going to be the same since they're from similar company and they tend to make their characters in scale with each other. We have the Mafex Superman Hush, which is, he's even, sh Superman's even shorter than the Death Dealer. And they both have this, these small heads. This is the Masco Magneto. So, he's actually, he's around the same height as Magneto. But his head is just smaller than Magneto. So, that helmet should just be a lot bigger than what it is on the Duff Dealer. And this is the very cool catch me figure, catch me assassin. And she's quite a bit shorter than the Duff Dealer. So she's more in scale with him than the Mesco and Marvel Legends figure and the Mafex one. So overall, this is a pretty cool looking figure. I mean, he, uh, the only uh, big issues I have is the head is on the smaller side, makes him look less menacing. I just think it should be just a really nice prominent helmet because that's really the defining characteristic of this character. Also, his skin is a little bit on the nicer side. I mean, this is, you know, a guy who wears a cursed helmet and, you know, barbarian living in the wild. So, you know, I would expect him to be a little bit more rough, rough his skin to look probably a little bit more like death. But overall, it's really a cool looking figure. I mean, he doesn't come with a lot of accessories, but I think that's he has what he uh, he needs. This outfit looks pretty cool. So this figure is about 89 bucks at uh, Big Bad Toy Store. I mean, it's a pretty good deal. I, it comes recommended. But I am looking forward to that 112 scale Death Dealer by Mesco because I know it's going to be a little bit bigger. And they're also got the Conan coming. And I want I kind of want those two to be in scale together. Also, I have the TB League Red Sanja. So that one is going to be out of scale, I can tell already from uh, the Mesco Conan. So I'm not going to be really be able to, to put those guys together. But just as a standalone figure, I'm satisfied with this. I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Until the next video, peace.